Well hi, welcome back. Um, I've just come in from the garden. I've just been picking some herbs to, uh, to dry on my dehydrator. Um, I'll show you what I've got. So, I've got some bay leaves here. I like to uh, cut the bay leaves, nice young bay leaves. And then I cut the bit of stalk off as well. And then spread them out over the dehydrator. The dehydrators, Andrew James, all programmable. I'll show you that in a moment. Then there's um, some sage. Uh, I've got two different sorts. I've got this reddish one. And I've got the normal, the normal uh, but basic sage. Now these I just cut off for growing tips. I don't cut anything, make sure it's just fresh wood, fresh stem. You don't want to cut into the old wood because it's tough and it's horrible. And then the rosemary. Now same again here, when you cut it, Cut the, uh, into the new wood, don't cut into the old wood. Trying to grind up the old wood is not good and it don't taste good when it's in the rosemary once it's been ground. Now these I'll dry and then I'll ground them and uh, I'll bottle them. Let me show you how this uh, works. Uh, turn it on. Uh, what I do now, I always put the bay in the bottom. Then the tray of sage goes on top, then the tray of rosemary goes on top of that, and then we put the lid on. Now, here's the lid, it's on nice and snug, so they're all piled up now to set. Turn it on, press for temperature. Now, I normally keep it at 70. And then time, I leave it at the standard 12 hours. You'll be checking it in any case as you go. The bay leaves will take a little bit longer than the um, sage, and the sage will take definitely a longer than the rosemary. The rosemary dries pretty quick because of the oils, it dehydrates rapidly. So, that's on, I leave that now, I can go away and leave it alone. Catch you later. Right, well I've come back in and this time I've got another tray and I have got some garlic chives. Now let me just move the camera to make sure you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Let's bring it this way a little bit. Right, garlic chives. All I do with these garlic chives is I just get the plant, cut it off at ground, it's halfway down, um, cut the leaves in half because they're very succulent especially at this time of year when you've got all this rain spread them out as best you can these take a longer time to do now because of that and because they're very succulent I always put them on the top because these will be the last things to come out and give them a good spread out don't worry if you have to go onto two trays it depends how many trays you've got it depends how many herbs you're doing um, I like to put them down, spread them out as best as possible, leave in some air, and then there you go, like this. This is where dehydrators are great, they're fun as well, because you've got the, the practical to save the herbs. You want to save them as much as, as many herbs as possible, especially this time of year, because they're going to start to slow down and not grow very well and you want to keep that keep them for the winter and now is a good time when they're full of oils like the rosemary and the bay and the sage um, and they've got a lot of scent like the garlic chives are at the moment packed full of energy packed full of nourishment and most importantly packed full of vitamins and minerals that are good for health as you know garlic is good for the heart Garlic chives being a cross between garlic and onion. Onions are good for your body. Um, so they're not as good as, I would say they're not as good as heart health as garlic, but they're halfway there. So let me show you what we do now. Let me just check the camera angles on it. Yep, so we move that on there. So what I do, all I do now is take the top off, pop these on, on here. 
making sure there's any bits you've dropped you put back on as well and it is this simple all I do now is leave them I'm going to go take a look and see if there's anything else I can dry I'll catch you in a moment all right so I've got yet another tray and this time I'm going to do time now I like to do time on a fairly regular basis I dry it now don't forget all these herbs you can use as they are you don't have to dry them you can use them straight off of the plant um, I just like to get a store of herb, these particular herbs behind me for winter um, then I know that um, I don't have to go out and buy any if I haven't got any on the plants that are usable so with my time I like to make sure that it's in good condition obviously and that it's kept young and small leaved now if you don't cut it on a regular basis it will grow long woody and it really becomes unusable in my, in my books if you cut it on a regular basis which is I cut it at least once every month sometimes throughout the summer and the spring I'll cut it maybe once every other week so you don't need to take the leaves off you just literally cut the young growth spread it out nothing fancy just spread it out so that uh, it's got plenty of air flow through, through it there you go so once again lid off now this goes underneath the chives you don't want all that dampness from the chop from the chives going in to the thyme now you're always going to get a plethora of leaves falling off so I normally just spread them out. I'm not worried for a few leaves going amongst some of the other stuff if you get a, a little bit of mix up of herb it's not going to kill you it's not going to do you any harm and to be honest sometimes it adds to the flavour so there we go top back on it's programmed for at 70 centigrade 12 hours now you could do this in the oven put it on a low heat uh, spread it out on trays in the oven put it on low heat and let it just gradually dry out don't go whacking it on 200 even 150 you know it's I would say that 100 is going to be the best it's going to take its time though and it won't be as economical as one of these the other thing you can do it on apparently so I've now been told is an air fryer apparently you can use that as a dehydrator so check your air fryer have a look and see whether that's the case with yours so that's the herbs for today and if you like subscribe give us a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you again next time round stay safe